Hey there boys and girls, Lucky here and welcome back to another CSGO video. Today we have another episode of noob to pro the series that shall help you get better at Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Today we're talking about faking gunfights as well as faking bomb sites. So as you all know, noob to pro is a two-part series, meaning on Mondays you always get a big tutorial video or a guide video like this one, including a training routine sometimes. And on Tuesdays I'll be streaming and you can ask me additional questions that you have had for the episode or CSGO in general, and I will do some live teaching on there. So I'd say let's get right into it. Alrighty, so now let's talk about fakes. So in my opinion there are two major ways of faking. The one is for bomb sites and the other one is for gunfights. Now let's talk about the gunfights first. So essentially there are two ways that you can fake a gunfight or well fake in a gunfight and that the first one is obviously of course with your decoy grenade. Now as we all know the decoy pretty much looks the same as a flash and that's why it has a couple of features that can be utilized in order to fake it. The first one is pretty obvious. For example if you're an opper and you're in a fight with another AWPer and you're just trying to peek him or something like that and you essentially wait for him to re-peek or do anything at all something that you can do is of course just get out your I don't know your decoy like that then throw it a little behind you wait for the peek then you hear the shot and he most likely is going to peek after he did hear the shot so this is essentially setting you up for a better kill now that's actually the default way which is uh, well which the decoy is designed for now of course since it looks so closely to the flash if we compare it right here that's a, de uh, a flash grenade decoy you see almost the exact same just uh, the white and the red is kind of the other way around now the other way of course is that if someone's throwing a flash grenade like this so just the flash and of course it's going to blind enemies we can use a decoy grenade like that instead to well decoy a or imitate a flashbang grenade so essentially what you would be doing is the same as you always do you just kind of throw your flash a little more obvious than you well would usually do since you of course want the other guy to see it so that he's kind of either retreating or waiting for you to peek or something like that just you want to force a reaction from him so essentially you do that and as soon as of course the flashbang or well our fake flashbang in this regard did land he's going to realize okay that was only a decoy now essentially you were able to for example create space by throwing that the guy out on top of here would just well hold his corner and he sees the flash coming he turns away and then he hears sound and he's like oh god this was only a decoy okay my bad and he's then now well retreated somewhat which again uh, clears up some space for you in order to move up and well get closer to the bomb site so that's the other way now there's also a last way to fake in a gunfight and this one is uh, pretty funny and this actually did work in some pro matches and that is with the Glock right here or just well any pistol in general but since the Glock is very small it's kind of easier to be mistaken especially if guys are not playing on their native, re uh, native resolution meaning they have like not as good picture image quality it could be at long ranges be mistaken for something like a flash grenade once again so you see the flash grenade is very powerful and we're essentially just trying to imitate everything we have uh, for for the flash to uh, as a flash to be it now essentially what you would be doing is the same thing you would be throwing your secondary this time around in order to well get a reaction once again so you just throw it and you try to to peek or essentially you don't have to look up all that much you just run and then you go for a peek and this can sometimes also trigger a reaction meaning that you would be able to create some space as we previously did and those are well essentially the three ways of faking in a gunfight by using your secondary your flashbang fake which is a decoy and then the decoy as a normal decoy use so again triggering a sound of course you can also do other stuff with a decoy if you for example this is like a common knowledge thing so not many people will fall for it but well you essentially just drop your AK because it will only like it usually uh, displays the sound of a primary weapon. However, if you only have a pistol, it will kind of display that sound. So you do that, throw it, and as you will be able to hear, this is obviously Glock. So you can just drop your AKs, then everyone is just throwing his decoys, and this would well fake kind of a Glock rush, you could say. Of course, many people know that, so it's not as easy to fake since they usually are prepared for that. But again, I think at low ranks this might still work. And even if not, if you just have like three or like four guys, yeah, more like two or three guys here, and they're faking that, and then are going towards middle with one guy lurking here and one on the other side, you're going to have an easier time getting some picks, I think. But it's already talking a little bit more about the other thing, so let's talk about that right now. 
Alrighty, so now let's talk about faking bomb sites. So in our first example, we're going to talk about the easy way, which is not well the most effective one, but can also definitely work a couple of times. So first of all, before you're going into faking a bomb site, you want to kind of have the lineup of what the enemy team is doing. So usually you have like a 3-1-1 or a 2-1-2 setup. So you usually want to fake bomb sites or use the strategy a little bit more into the game. As soon as you played a couple of rounds, you know what kind of lineup they're having at their well bomb sites and then middle and stuff like that. And depending on that, you can kind of work off of that information. Now, what you usually would be doing, for example, if you're in mid, you just throw your usual mid to B smoke like that. It's landing right here, just a pretty default basic one. And the guy in mid is usually calling out, okay, they're going mid to B, or there's a mid to B smoke, they smoked CT spawn, something like that. And so you're just kind of retreating right here. And of course, that's kind of what you want to make them do. Like, you want to, again, trigger a reaction. In this case, he subconsciously is preparing himself to fall back to B to help the guy being rushed on B, as well as watching his back on mid. So, in general, what you're doing is you make this guy move more towards this side. So he's still holding mid, however, he's usually losing information about the short area. What you usually then can do is, if you have another player on here, he might be throwing like a fake flash or might even start shooting, go out like... He's, he's starting contesting the, the bomb side a little bit, just making some noise, trying to, once again, make them over-rotate. So this could mean there's like another guy who's usually holding from short or something like that, peeking, and you can be prepared for them to, pe like, to pick him off. Or, for example, he's just dropping down, waiting for the smoke to clear, so he can push towards the B bomb side. Of course, in this scenario right here, the problem is that the bomb has not been spotted. In low ranks, or like if people are kind of very nervous, this can actually work because you got a guy right here, the smoke is being thrown, you got another guy right here. Like, utility is being used, and this usually means, okay, they're wasting or using their utility, so it's most likely that they're actually going to do anything with it, instead of just faking it, since like a flashbang is a very like strong utility as well as smoke grenade. And that's why fakes can work, like, that's like worth money, the stuff that you're using to fake a bomb site. So, and that's like one of the, the main parts about it. But of course, in our scenario, we would have like another guy waiting just here in Longhouse to flash himself out against there. And probably like two guys on short who would be picking off the other guy. And then you would be able to push or would be ready to push into side since you want to make them rotate over to the other side. Now, that's the usual way of faking it. There's also another way, which is a little harder. So, well, now let's talk about another easy way first. So let's say, this is also kind of a, a silver strat, but it can, can sometimes work. So you, for example, have one guy lurking right here, or well towards short area, depending on how far he was able to move up. And he's just essentially waiting there solo with the bomb, as I am right here. Meanwhile, you want to have all your other four teammates commit to a rush, usually towards the B side, since it's very, well, narrow, or narrower than the usual entrances towards A on the most maps. They can just rush in, cause some havoc, and just kill a couple of guys. And that's like your, your main goal. You want to kill a couple of guys, and or make them well, retreat or just fall back. And then you want to take control of the bomb site. Just them having control of the bomb site usually will make the CTs rotate over trying to get it back. Since usually that's like where the bomb is going to be planted, since that's well how Construct works. Now, the thing is, with this strat you want to be fast. And if you cannot trigger a fast reaction or a complete full rotate out of the enemy team, so meaning you usually have like an anchor player uh, staying on the side, you as the lurker with a bomb also preferably want to drop that. So let's just do that right here. And then you want to try to get the kill. If you got the kill, again, you did not show the bomb right here, you can then go in, grab the bomb and try to plan it since the other guys rotated over. And again, this scenario, it's kind of a hard thing to do. You at least got the bomb down, that's why it's like a silver strat, because you're solo at the bomb side. Of course, you kind of have like a, a tongue movement going on, like a crossfire, because you can shoot at them from this side, and your teammates from the other side, which is very handy to have, but again, you're kind of solo here, so it's not very easy for you to survive. And again, if you did not manage to kill the guy on site, you just want to retreat and fall back, and usually go back with your team right here, because he did not see the bomb. Or, well, you could also, like, show the bomb, that's like a different thing, but he didn't see the bomb, so he's just like, okay, they usually still come into that side since he hasn't seen it. And it's like another big major compartment. So let's talk about that now. 
So as already mentioned, the bomb is playing a major part in faking bomb sites. If you're up in the higher ranks again, so far we only did talk about what usually works at lower or mid-range ranks, uh, the things that you do in there usually do not work at higher ranks because people, as I said before, like they have set anchor players, they're expecting certain fakes to be, like they, they notice threats, like decoys being thrown and just like hearing one guy shooting and then they're like, okay, it's like only one guy and they're saying like one, where are the other four and especially, most importantly, where is the bomb? That's why at higher ranks you can still do that, like the, the previous techniques are just not as effective anymore. Again, sometimes they do work, it's kind of a hit and miss thing and you usually do not want to waste your, uh, your economy or utility by throwing just random nades and making them kind of, I don't know, assume different things. Now, essentially, what you can do, however, is you're going to fake with the bomb. And this is kind of a risky thing because it's a high risk, like high reward thing. If you're showing the bomb, it is clear that it will be called the bomb is on B. So it's usually even the anchor player who's then rotating over to mid or to like another position, kind of exposing the bomb site a little more in order to kind of circle around. So if we just get the map right there, can this actually work? No, it doesn't. Circle around, as you can see right here, from the A side towards the B side. Now, as soon as this is happening, you kind of leave this side of the map open, meaning the A side long right there, the T spawn, and it's all kind of playing right here at the base T uh, CT line, as well as towards the B side. Now, again, the thing right here is you want to show the bomb. So you preferably want to peek first in, and the most important thing is right here to survive. You kind of want to contest a little bit, you want to show the bomb, fire a little bit, and then you want to rotate. So essentially you're doing the same thing again, you're then going off solo, but you already did show the bomb. Preferably you can also have like another player kind of backing you off right here in mid, so that you can safely cross from your other three teammates towards the other section, and then you two are going over to the other side trying to contest, and that's kind of like a lurk player being kind of sneaky beaky like, while your other three mates are executing right here on the side, and since the bomb already has been shown, it's more likely for the other guys right here to actually rotate over to the side in order to contest it, in order to try to retake it. And it's essentially how you fake it. Again, it all depends on what your teammates and your enemies are doing, so it really pays off to pay close attention to, first of all, the CT lineup right here at the baseline. Is, are they playing a 3-1-1? Are they playing like a 2-1-2? And then, kind of based on that, you want to see, does it make sense if I waste my utility right here, if it's not actually going to work? And of course, you gotta play it a little bit by ear. Every player and every team is different, so it's not bound to work every time. Especially since like a fake they after you did it once same as with a one-way smoke It is more likely of the enemy team to be expected to know that you're doing it again So it's not as easy to again make them come over commit again to a certain thing But yeah, uh, these were a couple of tips on how to fake bomb sites and just fake uh, the gunplay in general I hope this was kind of helpful for you and I think it's for now So I hope you enjoyed the video and lucky skill faker out